Okay, I'm going to explain today how to set up a Fura2 experiment using the Cairn OptoScan monochromator in integration mode. So we've already set up a program to run um, between 340 and 380 nanometers with appropriate time resolution and band pass to get signals um, at the level that I want to record. So what, having done that, I run the protocol with the photomultiplier voltage turned down and the amplifier gain in high. I edge up the photomultiplier gain and you can see that the traces are starting to get to quite a number of volts. So what I want to do is I want to run the photomultiplier power supply in the region of 600 to 800 um, volts because this is the, the area where the photomultiplier will be linear. So if I reduce the gain then you'll see I can turn up the voltage to around 600 and get my signal levels around the sort of one to one to four, one to five volt level. Um, this is where I want to be because I want to be using the digitizer effectively, but also leave plenty of room for signals to go up and down accordingly. So having done that, you will see the composite trace and the individual traces on the screen. They're all levels in that one, that one to four volt region. And what I can do now is move the sample to a area where there's no cells and introduce some offset to back the signal off to nothing while there's no cells. I then move back to a position where there's cells and you'll see that the signal now does not include the extra component from the background. The individual signals are available on the, on the output module according to the numbers that I've set, in this case one and two, and if we output the primary out, output amplifier to the software 2, then we can see what's going on um, as a composite signal made up of the two different wavelengths. This is just useful for reference.